hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Ochoa so today I'm gonna to be doing like a self-contained tour or an apartment tour whatever you like to call it I'll be bringing you guys into my cozy small space my humble abode where I stay and where I do all my stuff okay I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some of the things in my apartment and showing you guys around my apartment or my self-contained okay I know when it comes to decorating a lot of us are usually on a budget so I'm gonna be giving tips on decorating and tips on renting I know most times after we pay rent we usually don't have so much money on our hands to decorate so I'm gonna be sharing some tips on decorating and also renting I already said that okay so if this is something that you're interested in let's just get straight into it <music> somebody is moving in and there's banging everywhere so if you hear any banging kindly just bear with me so the first obvious space is my bed space which is the space that I film all my YouTube videos as you know my bed frame is brown I wanted it to match my brown wardrobe and also my brown mirror over there which I'll come back to later so these frames here I already mentioned where I got them from in my last YouTube video the thrift furniture haul so try and check that out i'll try and put the link up here in this video going to the right hand side of my bed over here i call this my ninth stand obviously it's a bedside cupboard but i call it my ninth stand on here i have my laptop i have my wi-fi headphones which i usually use in the night and during the day i'll move them to my desk but i have not used any of these today so they're still here from last night i have my bedside lamp i got this from mini so hmm. And for some reason it dried up in two weeks this thing is spinning me it's spinning me because my money wasted and it smells so nice the first one i got um i still have i'll show you guys later on it's still there i don't know i think these ones are fake because it dried up honestly in less than two weeks and i just kept the container so that you know it won't pain me too much that my money wasted even if the liquid inside is gone okay in here i have my chargers some of my sunglasses I like to keep my chargers here because I have an extension here that I like to just plug my phones, especially when I'm lying down on my bed. In here, I have all my hair stuff like coil and stretcher, um, dryer, and you know, all that girl stuff. Girl stuff. Okay, going to the left hand side of my bed over here. Onto here. Here is my bathroom door. I'll come back to that later. By this corner, I have my yoga mat resistance band. <laughs> On this corner, or rather in this corner, I have my sewing machine that my mom gave to me, but it never worked and I never bothered to fix it because I have a very good tailor that does all my amendments for me, so I never bothered to fix it. I have a couple of things here just for, you know, aesthetic poppers and my cute teddy bear here, AC remote just so I can stretch my hand in the nines and just reach out for it. Okay, onto this corner don't mind the mess in this bag area i have this durable bag hanger from my school days that i've been carrying with me everywhere and i've been kneeling in everywhere that i have stayed because it, the bag hanger honestly is just very small but it hangs up a lot of stuff so i love it so much my bags are a mess because i'm constantly filming so i never bother to arrange them okay down here i have some shoes that I don't wear so frequently so i just kept them here because i don't have any more space in my wardrobe for shoes this is my weights that i use for my workout my fan i just kept here by my bedside i usually don't put it on because during the day my room is usually very cold very very cold so i don't put my fan on until the night so i just put it here close to my bed so moving on to this part my ac up there obviously and this chair i just put it close to my bed so that when i wake up and i want to regain my strength i can just quickly get up and sit down on the chair okay and i have my carpet here here is the major window that i have in my room obviously curtains and <laughs> the obvious instagram space corner that i film my reels and my tiktok if you follow me on instagram or tiktok this is where i film all my stuff so yeah this is the space that i do that I have my ring light I have my tripod obviously after setting up this stuff won't be here so yeah I keep them there when I'm not filming my mirror 
and on this side i have some shoes that i don't know where to keep so they just there so in front of my bed i have my tv stand speakers at the bottom that i never use jesse with the coda remotes in the middle and on top here this small cute lovely space here i have these i got these seashells from ghana brought them back to nigeria and i put them in this vase this vase i got from some flowers that were sent to me after they died i decided to convert the vase to this i have my candles i have okay this is the other diffuser that i was talking about that i got from miniso see i've had this for like three months and i still have something left inside there's something left inside and it even has glitters it smells so nice but that one is fake i wasted my money i'm angry okay here i have some cutting pads i just added it just to make the place look cute and on this other side i have my clock what's the time i have my clock and okay this corner of the room here i have my decks where i study i work and it's sort of my mini dining table okay most times when i want to film for youtube or instagram i move my table here to the window just so i can have more light on this other side of the room in between the bags and the decks i have my wardrobe there's nothing serious going in here obviously my clothes shoes and everything that a normal human being needs so at the top of my wardrobe is storage obviously <laughs> um i have my boxes extra duvet ring light carton pressing iron this space is just a mess i never show it because i honestly don't know what to do with it i have a sleeper on top of the box you can see how it looks it just looks ugly so i never show it i need to figure out what to do with this space because since i moved in it's been like this and that's about it for my room space bed sides of my bed wardrobe decks tv mirror space window chair and that's about it nothing much so let's head to the bathroom there's nothing serious in here but i'm just gonna show it okay okay so in here obviously body care in there shower up there hand wash toothpaste blah 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 this bag i store all my clips in there shower cap nothing serious on here I have just a couple of things these towels i use them for my floor i just some hair care soap stuff here i have my laundry basket or laundry thing i don't know what this is called and then i have some paint remaining just for touch up buckets washing clothes toilet obviously and that's about it for here heater up there and <laughs> that's about it for my bathroom let's move on to my kitchen <laughs> okay let's move into my kitchen i like to put off my light because you all know how much light costs these days especially if you use prepared meter this cutting here just divides my kitchen from my room yeah so um let's head into the kitchen okay this is my door to go out right here just on this small passage here i have this little cute foot mat <laughs> i usually put my slippers that i'll wear outside here i have my change over up here and i have this black cutting just to match the other cutting in the room to divide the kitchen is an open kitchen which i love 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 so much i love open kitchens so yes yeah, so i used this in dividing the kitchen just here by my fridge i have like a couple of water that you know i've not used here close to the door i have my trash and here obviously is my cooker this is where i cook i made some noodles this morning and okay here is my sink where all the magic happens here i have my fridge i use the top for storage of beverages and obviously my fridge on the other side i have water down there and in this carton i store like all the nylon bags that i get from when i go to shop i store them and i use them for my dustbin on the side i have my brooms packer and all that stuff and here on top microwave spoon obviously as you can see up there 
in this cupboard i use up there for my storage storage of things that i have not opened or i'm yet to use and i store like empty containers i use to put stuff in the fridge also up there and here i have my plates it's just me so i just have a couple of plates i got these two white ones for aesthetic <laughs> yeah so those are my plates i don't have a plate rack because for me i just feel like this space you know is too small to put any other thing like just too small okay so in this cupboard here i have like my blender storage it's just storage blender kettle and all that stuff one two three is for storage and the same thing with up here also i have spices just storage storage of things that uh i'm not using yet or i'll use later okay so this is basically my kitchen <laughs> yeah this is my kitchen um after this after filming this, I have this plantain to fry. Now I'm always frying plantain, but this morning I woke up and I was like, I wanted to eat beans and plantain, and I checked my beans, and <laughs> my brown beans was remaining like half cup, and I don't like to eat white beans. I like to use white beans for my mind, so I'm just gonna fry the plantain and keep them in the fridge. Yeah. So in this bag, I store these containers for the woman that cleans for me. She, I think she sells them, so when she comes, she just take them. So <laughs> I store them in this bag. I don't know why I'm out of breath, but for some weird reasons. I'm out of breath so yeah that's about it this is my door to go out i don't think i want to show outside but yeah my door to go outside and that's about it i like to put off my lights to save my life and sit down and i'm gonna give you guys some tips on renting and some tips on decorating if you're interested <laughs> okay so I'm gonna just set this up here Ooh. and I want you to bear with me while I set this up okay this should do right I hope it's not too close okay this should do so yeah that's it about my room nothing serious so just giving some tips on decorating um for me when I got this place um, it wasn't difficult because the previous year before I got here I hunted for a house for a full year and I did not see anything I like like literally didn't see anything I like so the next year when I was looking for this place I told myself that I was going to start early so always start early if you're looking to rent start looking for your place early before your lease is over and your landlord starts chasing you and you will not have peace of mind start early also check out for like light water security I mean the basic things that you need make sure <laughs> that you check out for all those things okay it's a place that uses prepaid meter always try and find out and make sure ask the people that are living there already if the place have problems they will tell you nobody's going to lie to you so ask people that are living in the house already if the place have issues always make sure that the prepaid meter is not owing because the last place i stayed the meter in that house was a money sucking machine i had bad experiences in the last house that i stayed like experiences that actually traumatized me so always make sure that the meter is not owing and all those kind of stuff and also when you're looking to rent make sure you rent somewhere that is close to the places that you go so if you walk or you have you know a couple of places that you go that are important to you just checking if my mic is on make sure that wherever you're renting is close to those places that you go to so as to cut down cost of transportation okay now when it comes to decorating all i'll just say is take your time do not rush it is your house and you want it to look good you want it to look cozy and you do not want to buy things that you do not like okay so take your time when it comes to decorating i've been in here for like six to seven months and i'll still say that there are a couple of things that if i see and i like i could incorporate them into my room so do not rush decorating your room my lease in my old place wasn't up here so it gave me time to do here the way that i wanted like i got my bed frame brought it here got this one brought it here got table brought it here so it gave me time to do the place the way that i wanted to do the place so um yeah take your time when it comes to decorating and thrift okay i did a youtube video on how to thrift for furniture how to thrift for electronics you can literally thrift anything bathroom wear kitchen wear you can literally thrift anything if you're in a, if you are on a budget i know usually most of us after paying rent we don't have money to splurge 
on decorations electronics and blah 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 so if you have old furniture and you want to get new furniture always make sure that the new furniture that you're getting matches the old furniture that you have okay don't gonna have purple chair and you're not going to buy red bed frame it just doesn't make sense okay I froze again I don't know why I'm freezing today okay so that's about it for this video I hope I wasn't talking too much I hope you learned one or two things from this video thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this please give this video a thumbs up and if you're new here definitely consider hitting the subscribe button I guess the reason why I'm freezing is because like there's so much noise around today somebody's just banging and as a matter of fact my head is paining me already thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you on my next one bye guys <laughs>